hello everybody in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can create a promotional or offer pop up on your okumar shop or on your wordpress website i am going to show you the best way and the easiest way you will be able to add a very professional pop up on your website if you watch this tutorial till the end so we are going to log into our WordPress dashboard and we are already done and then we are going to use a plugin so we have to hover on plugins and simply click on add new and from the search bar search for hustle and then at the top you will see the plugin hustle email marketing lead generation opt-ins and pop-ups by WPMU Dev. So make sure you are going to install this plugin and now activate. Our plugin has been activated successfully and we will see here a new option which is Hustle. So you have to hover on it and then you will see a lot of options. From here we are going to creating pop-ups that's why I click on pop-ups and scroll down we don't have any pop-ups at this moment we are going to create a new one so you have to click on create and then which type of pop-up you want to create first one is email opt-in and second one is informational first one is for getting or collecting emails if you want to create any weekly newsletter or if you want to collect your customers or visitors email then you have to create email opt-in so we are going to add promotional offer so we have to select this one informational and you have to put here a pop-up name first promotional or something like black friday sale and then you have to select a template there have a lot of template nice nice template so we are uh, going to select one from those which one we can pick uh, suppose this one this one we are going to add we can see the preview of this pop-up also so this is the pop-up we are choosing this template this is very nice and promotional i think so close it and close the preview we have to select this uh, template that's why i click on choose template then we can see here we have options to change this contents first of all you can see the title you can change and you can set your title so you can select here the title as 50% flat sale and then here you have to put a subtitle so uh, select a subtitle suppose we are going to put we are giving 50% flat sale in our every products for black friday and then you can see you have a options to change the image so we are going to change this image which image this is so if you want to see the current preview you can click on it so this image we are going to change so uh, we can see here the subtitle is little bit longer we can uh, decrease the uh, line so we are giving 50 percent flat sale in black friday so i think this subtitle is okay and close and upload the image upload files select files 
and suppose we are going to use this image select it and open we can see here successfully uploaded the image and then click on use this image and already done and here you have to put uh, main content we are going to use lorem if some uh, at this moment you can put here your all contents so suppose we are going to use uh, this uh, content and here simply just paste and after that we can see the current preview we can see our image has been added here and 50 percent flat cell and all the contents now we have to change and to work with the call to action button so close it and if you scroll down if you want to add a button then you have to select this you have to enable this we can see here the button level so we can give the level as get the offer and if you want to like this so when uh, someone will click on this button then there will open a new tab then select the new tab and if you want to uh, set like this when someone will click on this button then in same type the uh, shop url or your product url or which url you are giving here that url will open so we are okay with new tab and here you have to set a product url or which products you are going to promote that url you have to put here suppose we are going to uh, promote this url because there have one product or directly we can uh, put the product url so copy the url and then paste it here and and at the next you can see never see this again link when someone click on never uh, see this uh, again this link if you say this someone will click on it then the pop-up will not appear again so you can set it uh, i can see here the preview here if you scroll down you will see no thanks i am not interested so i think this option is okay and also the button has been changed then close and after that you can set here your title suppose i don't want this offer and then the next thing is our all content has been set up perfectly now you can click on appearance if you click on appearance if you choose any template then i will highly suggest you the default one uh, for this layout so you don't need to select a default or stacked or compact uh, go through with default one and then you will see here customize uh, elements if you want to uh, set the uh, image in the right then you can select right when you will select this in right then at the right side will be the image and at the left side will be the all contents you can see the preview now you can see at the right there have image and at the left the contents so following our image left is okay and you will be able to uh, set a custom with custom site and make sure fitting and position is always cover make sure this and then give all the default uh, functions and typography from here if you want to select any font here a lot of fonts you can select but we are moving with the default one and font styles for title you can select a font and if you want to increase the fonts size then you will be able to do this and which one is uh, title title is 50 percent flat rate suppose you want this uh, 50 pixel 
then see the preview you will see the title is too bigger you can see 50 percent flat rate this is too bigger so you can select uh, the title uh, size font size so we are moving with the default one and all the subtitles call to action button all the font family will uh, get here and font size you can set if you want to uh, set the font as bigger you can set and if you want to make the font smaller you can also and the colors this is the very very important things you will see here some template already uh, we have some template suppose blue if you select the blue then you will see the preview and this is the blue and then we are uh, going to use sunrise then see the preview you will see there are some uh, op uh, options uh, some more styles we have a blue type in our website so we are moving with the blue and one more thing i want to uh, share with you this is a very very important part of for uh, these colors options because we have to mess our pop-up with our website designs you can see here there have sub options suppose pop-up container so pop-up container overlay and main layout this background color so main background color we are going to set this one because this is our um, website color we are using this color so we have copied uh, copied the color and paste here and at the same time you will be able to see the preview so we have sensed and then we can see here this color is matching with our website color and this is a very good thing actually then white color is okay or if you want to change uh, the title color you will be able to do also suppose this title title color we want as suppose black and then subtitle is white okay and you will see here if you uh, see the options those are same all are same so i think you will be able to do this and at the bottom never see this link again so that text you are able to change also so click on preview you will see here we have changed the title color is black and this is black now we are going to work for this one suppose uh, i want this as white so close it and then font color is white all the things are uh, very easy so if you want to say a hover color suppose when someone will hover or never see this link then hover color will be red then see the preview and then this is white and hover this is red so this is very very easy things actually all are the same things and then the next option is visibility this is also important things so if you click on visibility then you will see here a visibility rules show when all or if you want to select any specific push type suppose in uh, or any posters or pages uh, the pop-up will be show then you have to click on uh, at conditions and then you will see here some push type a uh, posters uh, pages my templates tags and uh, then you will see here a lot of options so suppose we don't want to show this pop-up in any post we want to show this pop-up only on pages then select this one and then click on add conditions and then all the pages this pop-up will be show and if you want to select only this pages suppose only on home page and 
only on any other page if you want to select suppose uh, for this page only for those two pages the pop-up will be show then you can select and then one thing all pages except suppose just on home page this pop-up will not be shown then you can select suppose in contact page or in any other page uh, suppose on the contact us page this pop-up will not be visible then the select the pages which one you don't want to show this pop-up so you can select from here but we want at least in our home page and then you can publish or you will see here a behavior so pop-up trigger is time immediately if you want to uh, select any time suppose after five seconds or three seconds the profile will be visible then you can select but we are okay with the default setting up uh, for this uh, options and if you want to set any animation for the pop-up then you can select suppose bouncing up and uh, the pop-up will go with bounce out uh, down so you can select this also then see the preview and pop-up uh, has come uh, bouncing up and if you close it bounce uh, down so bounce out down so this is the animation you can set and i think all the default uh, options are okay and in this way actually you can create this type of professional pop-up now we have to publish then click on publish and yeah ready to go now we can browse our website then we will see this pop-up yeah successfully we can see here a very beautiful pop-up with the link in our website so if you want to, to click on i don't want this offer this pop-up will not show again and you can also close it and then suppose your customer want to take this offer 50 percent flat sale then yeah suppose i am a customer of this website then if i click on get the offer so we are going to clicking and it's opened a new tab and then we are in the product which one we have given at a offer price so we can purchase and we can get the 50% uh, sale or 50% discount and uh, hope this type of pop-ups will increase your sales and please make sure you have subscribed our channel if you subscribe our channel our wordpress community will grow up more faster and we will create more tutorial how you can create opt-ins form opt-ins pop up on your website slide-ins and many other things so if you want to learn about wordpress very deeply then subscribe our channel and stay connected with us thank you